Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you, Akim, out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Now, this lesson <clears throat> is going to be entitled, There Has to Be Another Great Awakening. And uh, this is something that the Spirit has been on me to say for a little bit now. Um, and the, f the fact is that there has to be a great awakening because just the simple fact that when you look at the camps, the majority of people that's there are Southern Kingdom. Okay, the majority. Yeah, we have uh, camps with more um, Latin tribes, but the majority is the Southern Kingdom. Now, the biggest part of the nation of Israel is the, Latin, the, uh, the Northern Kingdom. Okay, the nine tribes, Ephraim, uh, Zebulon, Issachar, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, all right, uh, Manasseh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Simeon, okay? These are the, these are the, uh, the majority, the bulk of, um, of the, um, of the Latin, tri of the, uh, of the tribes of Israel, excuse me. You see, so they have to come in, but it hasn't been it hasn't been time for them to be awakened yet fully. For whatever reason, the Lord is, has not allowed that to come yet, right? We have a lot of so-called Latinos that pass by the camp, you know, and they and they just have this simple-minded look on their face, like they don't know what the hell is going on. All right, but that's okay because the Lord said that He's going to um, save the tents of Judah first. Judah has to be has had to come into this thing first. So that the other nation, the other tribes don't exalt themselves against Judah, you know, and Judah came in with, with basically Benjamin and Levi, you know, because when it speaks about Judah, a lot of times it's speaking about Judah, Benjamin and Levi. Judah is the head of the southern kingdom, the tribe of Judah. They're the head of Benjamin and Levi, but a lot of times it mentions them together. Like when you go into the New Testament, it speaks about the Jews you know, that was mostly dealing with Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, you know, the southern kingdom. Now, the southern kingdom, you know, they, they have awoken just like everything else, right? Everything starts with uh, Judah's, the, the trendsetters, you know? Everything starts with Judah, okay? So once, when, when the Lord is ready, he's going to awaken the, the rest of the tribes. And we don't know what's getting ready to happen exactly of what the Lord could do. The Lord could do a lot of things. He could set up spiritual powers, you know, for it to happen on camera. He could set up all kinds of things, right? And if the Lord were to do that, Esau would have to move quickly, but there would be a, a great multitude that would uh, be awakened by that. You know what I'm saying? Just like in the time of Acts, there was a great, a, a great multitude that was awakened based upon the miracles and things of that nature. You know? So, you know, we're in that time. This is Acts 2.0. So it's a very similar situation because even in the time of, of Paul, the, 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 the Israelites were facing a great persecution. Great, great persecution where they had to be hidden, man. Nero wasn't playing games, man. Nero wasn't out there playing no games, man. Okay, Nero was putting uh, Israelites to death left and right. And there's a particular movie I was watching and they had a, uh, they had a card, some particular ID you know, a particular car that if they, if they, you know, that 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 at that time Luke forged. I don't know if Esau added that part in, right? Of, of that card, and I was trying. I'm, I'm trying to look on some information on a particular particular ID that they had. It was like an identification or a license, you know, to be in certain places or whatever the case may be or whatever. You know, maybe it's to prove that they were Roman citizens. I, I'm not sure what that was. But there was some paper that they had to show, and Luke, and, and, and it was forged, you know, and, and Luke had to forge it. This is what happened in that movie. And Luke had to forge it, okay? Um, right, they forged a, a paper for Luke to get into jail to, to speak with Paul and so on and so forth. You know, we know Esau adds things into the um, into the story, but... Um, but that was just showing you the fearfulness of that time, how serious that time is. And we might be in that position where we might have to forge certain things to get certain places, man. You know, certain documents or whatever, or, you know, 
have a particular, you know, a particular thing where we can swipe that make it look like it's, it's in our hand. We don't know what the Lord is going to have it being uh, what have the elect doing in that time. But we know that it's going to be a fearful time. The scriptures say that they shall be as madmen sparing none. All right. But even spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So it, it, it's going to be a very, very fearful time. They're going to be they're going to be putting people to death like nothing. All right. You know, and Esau is going to increase the fear in these people to the point where they're actually egging it on. The people, the average citizen, they're going to be egging it on because things are going to be so crazy. You know, there's this different zombie uh, 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 plagues and whatever the case may be, man. Cannibals running around, you know, wild beasts and, and people, you know, kicking down doors. And they're going to want the authorities to step in, you know. And when they do away with these these um these uh constitutions and and civil liberties and rights and things of that nature because of martial law well they can do what they want to do they could institute the noahide laws man all right where your head gets chopped off for 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 for, for, for violating any of those laws man which by the way the small hat is not um is exempt from that according to the noahide noahide laws so it's about to get serious, but there has to be something that's going to happen that's going to ignite the elect, you know? So there's a lot of great things getting ready to happen, man. Miracles and, and different things, different events. The Lord is getting ready to show himself, man. You know? And people are going to be shaking up, even these other Israelite camps. A lot of the, the people that are amongst them are going to be shaking up as well. The elect is going to be... Is going to be um, uh, there's their pure minds of the pure minds of the elect is going to be stirred up amongst these camps as well right because it's clear to see what the MOTV is but you know they're still blinded by the garments and and the, and the, and the, 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 the special effects that certain camps have you know and the fact that they can make rap videos they're still blinded by those things but soon it's gonna it's gonna get so serious they're gonna have to sincerely seek the Lord and his mercies and the only way to do that is to come through the straight gate and you're going to need the right teachers, man. Because a lot of you need to be taught again, man. You just need to be taught again. And we know your pride is going to prevent you from doing that. But we know some of you that have humility within you, you're going to have, you're going to, um, you're going to humble down, man. You know, like we had a recent uh, man from the, uh, the, the, the Wi-Fi, the WFI, he, you know, he came to his senses, you know, and the spirit compelled him to just branch off and do his own thing. And, um, and made Yahweh Shimei Awashai bless that brother, you know, because he's, he's sincere. He seems sincere. All right. And, uh, he's doing his thing on the solo dolo. And, you know, I know how it is to, to go out there by, by myself. I've been out there by myself for years, you know what I'm saying? Before the brothers, for the Lord blessed me with some beautiful fruit and, uh, you know, some beautiful brethren that came through basically. And, um, and yeah, man, and, and 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 that's what it is. But that that's a, that's a hard thing, man, to be out there prophesying by yourself. But if the spirit is on you, the Lord is going to keep you, you know. But he came, he came, you know, he saw that that that, that our breakdown was correct, the breakdown that we have was correct of the MOTB, and he you know, he just went out and did his own thing, you know. And that's the per that's the perfect thing to do, you know. And that's how the Lord will start to build you up and watch, you know, if he's sincere. Guess what? He's gonna he's gonna grow exponentially in the spirit way more than what he was growing while he was in that in that camp way more okay way more through the spirit because that's how it works but um yeah there has to be another great awakening there has to be you know certain things that happen with thousands are added at one time and tens of thousands and whatever you know we know it's a small number so it's not going to be the, the, the majority Okay, but it's going to be, you know, the elect being sealed, man. You know, the elect being sealed, man. The chosen, you know, men and women, you know, men and women. Because you got, you got, you, the scriptures speak about the elect lady, you know. But we know the majority of these people, the majority of these men, the majority of these women, they're going to just continue doing what they're doing. And and really with the, the women, it's more important that the men get the truth. It's really more important that the men get the truth. So I'll say mostly the men being awakened that's 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 what's mostly important because women will be saved through childbearing they'll be saved by being with a man of the lord 
That's why the, the men of the Lord are going to be the highest commodity when all think, when all hell breaks loose. The men of the Lord are going to be the highest commodity going. Okay, that's why brothers, we, we shouldn't have. We don't. We don't have to worry. Well, I know it's hard in the flesh, but we don't really have to worry about the women like that. We don't got to worry about these things because it's going to come anyway. You know, it's going to come anyway. You have to definitely get over that hurdle of the woman. Basically, the woman got to be like, okay, I'll get to you when I get to you, man. You know, if your whole thing, your whole mindset is dope, you're getting women in box. No, man, that's not going to work. You got to purge that out, man. You got to purge that out. You know, that's all. That's usually always, uh, you know, a brother's, that's most brothers, you know, thing that they have to get rid of in the walk, you know, that mindset. And once you get rid of that, man, it's, you know, the spirit can work with you a lot more. So, but anyways, there has to be another great awakening. That was the point of this video. You know, I didn't want to make it too long. Uh, Lord willing, this was edifying to the hopeful elect. I'll say shalom. All praises going on to you. How about Shem? Yahweh Shai. Shem. Rechakwa. Shalom.